Okay, question and answer for Shadrach. The first question, we're going to hover over uh, Shadrach, and I want you to draw a picture of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fire, and the fourth person in the fire with him. And here is the king, Nebuchadnezzar. So draw a picture of that. Also, answer the questions. Uh, what was Shadrach's two friends' name? And the answer is Meshach and Abednego. Number two, what was the king's name at that time? And, um, and that was Nebuchadnezzar. Number three, what did the king build? And it says a huge statue made of gold. Number four, did he command that everyone bow down to it? The answer is yes. Number five, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego only worship with who? With worship who? And that was the God of Israel. Number six, they returned to bow down to, they refused to bow down to a what? A false idol. The king had them thrown where? Into a furnace, a fiery furnace. The flames didn't do what to them? The flames didn't harm them. Number nine, what figure did did he what figure was in the fire with them and there was a fourth figure standing next to them what was this fourth figure it was an angel sent by God to protect the men from harm that's number 10 and number 11 did the king free the men and order everyone to respect the God of Israel and the answer is yes the answer is yes. Then we broke uh, scriptures down. We started with Acts today. And we're using the King James Version. Okay, so... We're breaking the scripture down. Acts 21 and 18. Okay. Starting with the 18th verse. And it says, And the day following Paul went in with us into James, and all the elders were present. So we broke the scripture down. And we came, we had Anne. We had the day. We had Paul. We had James. We had, and again, we had all, and we had elders. So those are all topics that we could talk about, and we'll go, you'll go in and you will Google or, Google or either um, look in, your, in the back of your concordance. So I looked in the back of my concordance. I chose the day as my topic. And so, let me see. I chose the day, and here's the day. <clears throat> the day starts off with Proverbs 3 and 2, Proverbs 27 and 1, which says what a day may bring, and that's what it starts off with, and then num number, uh, I mean Proverbs 3 and 2 starts off with for a length of day. Give us this day, say Matthew 6 and 11. Day and hour knoweth. The man, man, you know not the day or hour. Matthew 24 and 36. That day come, Luke 21, 34. Again at the last day, John 6 and 39. While it is day, John 9 and 4. And then Day of Salvation, 2 Corinthians 6 and 2. So that's from my concordance. We have two more. The, the Day of Jesus Christ is uh, Philippians 1 and 6. Day of the Lord, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 2. Day is with the Lord 
is Second Peter three and eight. So these are uh, uh, are pertaining to day, and we probably got one in Genesis also, because you know in the beginning God made uh, the day. Let me let's go to Genesis and see if we can find that one. I'm gonna let this sit over here where I find it in Genesis, because they don't have that one, but they probably do in another concordance. So in Genesis, okay, here it is. And it starts in Genesis chapter 1. And God made two, two great lights to rule the day. And the lesser light to rule the night, which is the moon. And he made the stars also. So here is the day. <clears throat> okay, then 18... That was 16. The 18 says to rule over the day and over the night. He chose these two lights to rule over the day and the night. To divide the light from the darkness. And, and, and God saw that it was good. So he made the, the daylight, which was the sun. And then he made a one other one light that was the sun, and then the other light was the moon, and the sun was the govern over the day, and the moon was the be over the night. So you can find that in Genesis. Okay. Also, I got I have Proverbs three and two, so I need to write that down. Genesis 1, 16, 17, I think 18. So if you look in Genesis 1, 16, 17, 18. And then Proverbs 3 and 2. We're going to go to Proverbs 3 and 2. And we're completing our, our sermon. And then we got to name it. We got to title our sermon. We have to title our sermon. Okay. Uh, three and two. Three and two. The length of day. I don't know what's wrong with it. Okay, there it is. For the length of days and long life and peace shall they, they add to you. For the length of days and long life and peace shall they add to you. Okay. Then Proverbs 27 and 1. Proverbs 27 and 1. Boast not yourself of to tomorrow, for you knowest not what a day may bring forth. So this is talking about the day. There's the day right there. A scripture on the days, and then the other one was a scripture on the day. So that'll be it for the day. So you'll go through and do all of your, you'll go through, read through, and you'll take notes, and then you'll come up with typos and sermons. So we'll name this one, The Day That God Made. The Day That God Made. 
then that's that's all you have to do. So you that's all you're gonna be doing. You're gonna be going through here and picking titles. You'll read through there and underline words that you possibly can Google or either find in the back of your concordance and you'll put them down and then you'll put them all together like the title is the day that God made so you'll have to read Genesis chapter 1 verse 16 17 and 18 you would have to read Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 2 Proverbs chapter 27 and 1 and that can make part 1 then you'll go to find some scriptures on and, and that can be part two. Find some script and then, or uh, or you can go into these scriptures and, and underlying topics, and that could be part two. It's like for instance, we on Proverbs twenty seven and one. So it says, "Boast not thyself." Of tomorrow, so you'll underline tomorrow, find scriptures on on tomorrow, find go go find go Google for. You can Google tomorrow. You can Google for. You know us, and then find some more scriptures on day. And then that's it. So that could be part two. So then you can go into Proverbs 3 and 2. Greg, won't you? Okay. Go into Proverbs 3 and 2. And then you'll have your underlying lift, your underlying four, your underlying days, your underlying long life. Peace and then add, 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 okay, and then you'll be able to uh, come up with a part two and you can name that. So that's it for today. Um, if you don't understand, call me and I'll help you with it. Call me at 314-898-3199. God bless you, and I hope you have a blessed day. I hope we bless you with our story on Shadrach. And I hope you are blessed when we're breaking down the scriptures. So just go through each one of these, take notes, and then find topics that you could talk about that you can minister to people on. God bless you, and I will see you talk to you tomorrow.